In this video, we're going to explore how you can use the legend on Hoover configuration in Chart.js. And the legend on Hoover configuration helps you to trigger the moment you hover over the legend itself, it can trigger something that you want. So let's start and explore that. And before I even start, if you want to learn more about Chart.js, you want to go really deep in Chart.js, check out my Udemy course, which covers everything about Chart.js. You can find the link in the description bo box below. All right, so let's start here. So basically you have this here. And what we want to do here, if you go on Hoover, so right now, if you just click on this, you can see we have this. But if you hover over it here, nothing happens. So what we want to do here is to trigger the Hoover effect here that the moment we hover over it, let's say we make the background color a different color. So we just hover over this and then the background color starts to change. All right, so let's look at this. So oh, before we even do this, we go here, we can find here in the configuration options, it's on here. You can see the namespace, the options, that legend. And if you go here on, on Hoover function, you can see it calls in, um, when a mouse move event is triggered on top of a label item. So basically in this part here, so the moment we, as you can see here, anywhere we click here, this is the label item basically that's being triggered. So the moment we hover over anywhere here, on here, 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 or wherever you want, then it will trigger something. So what we want to do is we want to trigger something here outside. And this can be useful, for example, if you want to on Hoover show some specific text that gives you some explanation about this. That can be as well. So let's do something here. All right, we create a legend here, colon, and I'm putting here the uh, curly braces. And then within here, we're going to put in the command. And this is a function. So we say here on Hoover. All right. And then on Hoover. And then here we have the function. So right now, if you do here, if you save on this, save this and refresh, you can see here, you see nothing yet. And there's still a click function working. So for example, let's say we want to do an alert. Let's create an alert first, which is the easiest one to do. And then we say here, we are hovering. All right, save this and then refresh here and you can see here now, bam, there you are. Now you see here the Hoover effect, but of course this is quite useless function. What we want to have is a function where, for example, we change the background color and after once that works, if we test that one, we can create maybe a mini div with some extra information about this chart that when we hover over it, it will show the, the information on this chart. All right. So what we're going to do here, for example, let's try a different one. We will say body dot, uh, all right, sorry, document dot body, yes. And then we say dot, uh, what is this? The style, of course, sorry. And then background color, background color equals, and then we're going to get a background color. All right, so we have the background color. Let's get this background color here. We'll get a, uh, the second data set has a pinkish color. Yes, so we will get that one. Put it in here. And let's save this, but what I want to do is I want to remove the current class here. Oh wait, we will just remove this in here as well. So, and let's see if this all works. Eventually, then we say here, class name equal blank meaning that we're going to remove the class name and then it should be replaced with a background color all right so let's refresh all right and then now let's move over bam there you are so let's see if the and this is a quite bright color sorry about that let's see if the background color as you can see here the class right now from the body is gone so let's refresh it again you can see here the background is success then we'll go over here bam the color is gone. All right, so this works very well. So let's do a final one now, this final challenge. And that is not the background color. What we're going to do is we're going to say here, uh, display block, D block, right? Remember, I'm using bootstrap. So this is why I'm using D block. And I'm going to remove this part here. And I'll just refresh this because the color is so bright, I don't find it comfortable. We'll put it in here. All right. 
So we have this here, and, and of course we cannot do this. What we need to do is here to give it a element, right? So what we're going to do here is I'm going to put in, if you are here up, you can see this here up. What I want to do here, I want to put in here between a div. We're going to put a div here with some extra text. All right, so I'm just going to copy this, put it here, and most likely I will put here a margin bottom tree, just to make sure that there is. All right, so that works. We have a margin bottom, and what I want to do here, I'll say, um, well, let's get the label here. We will get this label. But let's say first data. Uh, we say here first data set and this has a warning let's say info warning info alert info and then we say here first data set this is shown the moment you hover over the uh, legend section all right let's save that bam all right we have this all right Something is happening here. Um, we still get a few things, and I, of course, the block. All right, ignore this for now. I just refresh this. Of course, we're not done yet. We didn't put in here a D height. So what we're going to do here in the alert, we say here display none or D height display none, and then of course I'm going to give it ID. And I'll say here Hoover. Uh, what is it? A Hoover legend. All right. Okay, let's write this Hoover legend in here. So we say here class uh, document. There is a here document. And then what I will say here document. And then I have to maintain the class. Then we say get element by ID. All right, that's the one I want. And then we say Hoover legend. We save this. Am I correct? That's the ID name. Remember, this is the ID name Hoover legend. So we save this. And then we say here the block all right let's see if that works nothing is shown here and then if i hover over here bam there we are all right it shows something but for some reason it does not show what i desire to show it shows hoover legend class the block all right um we need to adjust something maybe here plus to see if this works refresh all right that doesn't work as well I'm going because we want to add it. What happens is now we're overriding everything what is in here. The, the option would be just to copy all of this information and put it back in there, but I don't want that. So I'm going to try it one more time. All right, there you are. So that works. So let's refresh again. What happened here? What had we? What did we need it to do? Was to have a plus equal meaning we want to only add on the existing class things. Whatever we have, we just want to add on that. Of course, what I do want to do here maybe is to remove. We can do that as well, or we can just say here, class name. I think add probably add would be fine as well if you do add. All right, no, that does not work because maybe I need to open it up like this. I need to put in parentheses. All right, save this, refresh, and then we go here. No, sorry about that. All right, so it doesn't work. However this one works as well so if you do this here we are oh what happened we have to remove the ad sorry save again do it again one more time there you are so now you can imagine we can now add a lot more items in here so imagine you want to have more information in here you can put in a lot of things and you can even add up more information if you would have another div another div showing more information in here you can talk a lot about these things and what's even fun is you can for example add up text here specifically with a matching background color that would be fun i would think that was a nice one to do as well let's try that one as well while we're doing this uh, we have here this is our uh, div sorry this is the one all right so what i will do here is i will say here Let's say we're going to when we hover over it. I want to just extract the background color, and I want this background color to be 
display or at least I want to give this a, a font color all right so we will say here more I'm going to copy all of this and then I'll just put an enter in here enter in here there we are all right and then we say here style that font color equals and then we have to get the code so before I get it I'll just grab this one and after that we're going to get the command that will be later on we just double check if this works so if we move over here all right that does not work so I have to double check here does it even uh, respond you can see here what happens as well we hover many times over and I guess it triggers a it triggers a lot of responses here probably on the undesired however that doesn't matter for now and apparently because of that it starts to break the D not so what we could do is here we have to probably figure out a better way to do that but that's all right for now uh, you probably understand the most important one but what I do want is I want to adjust the background color so let's see if I do only color all right that's it the color works that's the right command so what I want to do now is I want to get this here I want to get this specific item so how do we get this you might wonder well very simple we go from chart data data sets and then to here border color for example so let's start with this so we say chart dot data dot data sets and remember I want this one in a second data set so I will say your data set and then here the array number one this is the second element which is the index number one and then once we click on that then we go here to the border color once the border color let's save this refresh and bam there you are so let's try if we do border color on array number one which would be a slightly greenish color refresh there you are and this is basically how you can do these kind of things you can play around with it a lot more but of course i might you might say well this is all fun however how do we remove this there are options for that as well that will be in a other video i will cover this one so if you like these kind of videos subscribe to my channel and definitely if you really enjoy this check out my chart.js course on udemy where i go very deep in a lot of things about chart.js and if you have questions put them in the comment section below 